Hi there witches and welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie and today we're in my dining room where I'm bringing you the opening to this Halloween decorate with me video. Why are we right here? Because it's such a cloudy day I cannot find lighting that's good anywhere in this house. Hence every light in the house is on. I'm going to try my best to bring you a good quality video of me decorating but for right now I'm going to finish my cup of toil and trouble and then I will take you around and show you the explosion all right so over here I've pulled out my mummy items to include my new large daddy that goes with his little baby. Oh, did you think I was talking to your boo, boo yet? I'm not. And then my candy dish there. This uh, black tear tray. Did I need it? Mm, no. Nope. Did I want it? Yep. Did I get it? Yep. $15 at Walmart. It comes in like three, four pieces. You just screw the pieces together. It even has directions if you need to use them, but it's a nice metal tray. Uh, you can't pass that up. This, I got it at home a couple of years ago. Uh, August 2020 for $14.99. I really am upset with myself that I didn't pick up more because he is just fabulous. They had more that year. Haven't seen them since. Devastated. Anyway, so this is the mummy room. Uh, this room, uh, the bar area is done in witches. So, <laughs> placed a bunch of my witches stuff out here. This goes outdoors, of course. I have my fabric that I never did anything with, my arrows. Why do I say that I'm going to do all of these artsy, craftsy things when nobody has time? These are things that I've just been picking up and collecting for the past few years. And then over here on my bar top, I have the items that I will be placing outside. And then of course I just have my candy corn items and a few other items that will go in the kitchen. I've already hung up this sign that I got from the dollar store and temporarily placed my trick-or-treat right there may stay there may not we don't know so now I'm going to get started decorating all right so I'm going to start up here in this corner if you remember from my haul, I asked for you guys to name the little $5 crow from Target. Thank you, Kimberly N., for naming him. He shall be called Sir Clarence the Crow. So he's going to stay out for, for uh, Halloween. All right. Oh, yeah, my other little mommy that I got. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these shelves are usually where I place my smaller items. Um, let me see how I want to do it this year. Have this little lined up a dollar from somewhere. Don't know where, but 
He was cute. Having a little bit of a decorator's block up there, so we're going to just move on. I'm going to do my line dancers. All right, so I think I've got this area com mostly complete. I put Daddy and Son there. I put him over there on the speaker. I added little pops of orange. I'm going to put something on the bottom of that cage to kind of cover the <clears throat> candle top. So that's what I've got so far for that area. Alright, so now I'm going to do this area.
that's what we can do. All right, so I added my little pumpkin tray, my little Ray Dunn trick-or-treat with the mummy on the back. It's a candle and a little spiky plant. Spiky spooky, maybe? Mm. To be determined. All right, so last but not least, we have the pillows and a white blanket on the sofa because apparently I don't have a Halloween blanket. Could that possibly be? Hmm. Let's move on to the bar area where we're going to set up our witch decor. All right, so the witch's items <laughs> apparently have been the easiest for me to find. Now we got to try and fit it all into here. I'm going to start over here on my Ray Dunn area and put up my mugs. Cute. Okay. Now let's move over. Okay. Let's work over here. And made it harder than it needed to be.
All right, so let's just get a close-up view of where I am so far. I've placed all of my Ray Dunn mugs up here, along with a couple of extras that I picked up that were cute. I have my little witch that I got last year there. So I've done that area. I could probably add a couple of potion bottles. Let's try that. All right, so I like that. We have rotten pumpkins and eye of newt. And that is super cute. Over here, I added my black ladder and an orange towel underneath this precious trick-or-treat towel. I have these bottles because they kind of look like they would resemble potion bottles. I'm sure I'll add more to that. This is crooked. Okay. Then we have our witch's brew. Down here, I have my countdown to Halloween. And on the little scale beside it, I put Night Owl, oh, focus, focus, Night Owl Elixir. Some Witch's Grade Haunted House Dust. Ghost Breath and Dragon Essence. I'll probably add a little something in front of there. 
On the next shelf, I've started off with all of my little books that I picked up from Target Dollar Spot a few years ago, from Dollar Store this year. This Target Dollar Spot gets me every time, y'all. So now I'm just going to move down and fill in the rest of these shelves. All right, so a quick tour of the bar area. We have the witches theme going on in this area. Then on the actual bar, we have, this is my costume. I placed her up here and put some coffee pods in her. This will hold my spoon. My pretty witch that I got last year. Eat, drink, and be scary. 
my potions, brews, and elixirs box that I got from Target Dollar Spot a few years ago. Little potion bottles I picked up here and there. A cauldron with nothing in it. Ray Dunn mugs. The Little Witch. My Witch's Brew candle with the candle holder. I found that candle holder at Ross a couple of years ago. I couldn't find a second one, but I scooped up that one because it's fabulous. My Little Goofy Pumpkin. Home is where you park your broom. Another little cauldron. I can probably put some pods in there. I've got trash I'm stepping on. I placed my little witch's hat here. And my double double toiling trouble there with a little brim and pumpkin and one last thing welcome my pretties haven't taken the tag off of it yet that's the bar area all right so i think i've finished the bathroom Walk in, there's a creepy cloth. You have the spiders in the jar. They're coming up out of the jar. They're coming down to the toilet piper. And from there, I just hung this here because it's supposed to have parts that glow in the dark but if I don't see it glow in the dark then we'll just take it down but pretty much just left that like it was then I took double sided tape and I hung it on the door trim and then just stuck the cloth up there to allow it to just kind of drape however it wanted to This is the size of double-sided tape that I used. It now has black glitter all over it. I have black glitter all over me, but that's what I used. And then, a little spider hanging here. Uh, Clarence the Crow is up there. And I just placed another one, another towel here. It needs to be fixed. I have my home sweet haunted home here. Oh, that's a wrap. All right, everyone, I've done most every spot. The only thing we have remaining are the kitchen and the front porch, but I'm running out of time and I want to be able to edit this video and get it out to you. So next Friday, we will have the kitchen and the front porch. Um, also, I got a positive feedback on if y'all wanted to see Halloween nails. So look for that next weekend. And until then, friends, I'll see you then. Bye.